everyone. My dog is going crazy just to practice. Um, <clears throat> so, um, last night clearly was a rocky night, uh, election day. And I made it a holiday in my house. Um, I don't know about yours. I just want to rem remind you about black water, right? And so I tried black cherry and... Again, you know, you got to get over the color because the color having black water is kind of strange. Anyway, <clears throat> um, the election and largest takeaways. Oh, and don't forget that I am wearing my Kamala shirt <laughs> um, and, you know, AK pen and got this is the best I could do for pearls at the moment. I'm so sorry. My Tiffany pearls. And um, I got my chest, got my pearls on bracelet. Um, I mean, <clears throat> it looks like Joe, it looks like it's going to be a President Joe Biden and a Madam Soul War Vice President um, Kamala, Kamala Harris. Um, but I think I'm depressed by the election results. I'm not surprised. Um, but it is a little depressing and a little disheartening because it's not just that this election is so close, but it also is this paradigm that we're living in where I'm stunned at how high the black male vote is. Um... It's hard to not feel betrayed and to feel very disheartened and discomforted. Um, I don't know. It's hard. It, to me, I, I, I still think that this is a little, it's a little bitter because the Senate is still going to be, you know, the same. You can have Mitch McConnell and his crew that has absolutely ran this Senate like um, that has ran this Senate just so poorly and it's frustrating I mean I think I, I fundamentally think it's frustrating and um, and I definitely want to, you know, investigate that. I think that there's a larger discussion that we need to deal with when it comes to, we're still, as a, as, as a scholar, we're studying Latino voters all wrong. And I think we need to do a better job. And this, this election has revealed that because the Democrats talk about, um, immigration and clearly immigration is not the thing that moves the needle for for Latinos. And whereas criminal justice does move the needle. Criminal justice absolutely does move the needle for for, you know, black men. And I think that that is, you know, a problem and it's very disheartening and it's very discouraging um, you know, to see. But I don't know. I mean, I clearly the next four years is going to be a rough four years. I mean, because there's going to be a lot of policies that are just not going to be able to get through. Uh, student loan forgiveness is up is 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 a wrap. Um, Health care, that's a wrap. Um, you you you'll be able to keep Obamacare where you have now, but I mean. Universal health care, that's, that's, that's a wrap. Um, you probably will get a stimulus package. But I mean... Yeah. America really is okay with racism and sexism. And more people voted for Donald Trump than they did before. So they really are okay with it. And inexperience... And you know all that stuff. Like they're they're okay with 
ignorance and bullying and poor behavior and all of that. So, I mean, it's very, very um, disheartening. Uh, but on a positive note, I mean, it's a big day for black women. So, um, I'll put in the, the chat, I forgot to put in the live chat, so I'll put in the chat the link for you to go out and order yourself some black water and, um, become a partner maybe if you're interested. Have a great afternoon, and I will see you on, um, I guess the next time we see each other. <laughs> I'm not sure how it is this week, though. I will try for it to be this week.